Okay. That's crazy. Your underlying energy, though, is the two of wands. Two of swords. Underneath that is the high priestess. Very interesting. These cards are slipping inside and it's pissing me off because I like, I mean, I had it in a way that it was nice and now it's like jacked up a little bit. Whatever. All right. So this is about making decisions or, you know, making, the, yeah, it's about making the decision or really, you know, the choices that you make here is obviously predetermined. You just have to kind of make the decision happen instead of keeping the balance, right? To me, it's more of the execution of this, of the decision rather than trying to figure it out. And I think the reason why you haven't come to a, an exact conclusion of what's going on is because you haven't seen what's going on. You're not, you're not seeing it. The situation is very, you know, cro you know, arms crossed, not seeing what you guys are dealing with. Because if you do see what's going on, you know that the Detroit's would be very clear, right? It's like, has it, no, there, there would hardly be any hesitation when it comes to making that decision. Um, and I know it's very two of wandsy of how I'm reading that, but that's just it. Swords and wands are one of the fastest, um, fastest energies in the tarot. One of the fastest, um, or both, they're both pretty fast. Um, and I see this as like, if she's seen what was going on, she knows exactly what she would do, you know, but it's, it's about walking the truth. Like you have that truth, but it's like using that truth now. By making the hard, making the hard choices, right? Making the hard decision. And I feel like the high priestess, it may be something that you, obviously you do know the answer to this, to the whatever options that come up. You know the answer to it. It's not, it's not like, oh, okay, I got to figure it out. The high priestess knows everything. She knows things. She's very intuitive, but she's, the, she's very much the all knowing. So. Whatever you guys are doing here with this two of swords energy, you're trying to keep the balance because it's some sort of difficult situation that you're not ready to break free from yet. It's, well, not necessarily break free from. You're not. It's a difficult situation that you're not. You're not ready to kind of, you know, decide on something. That's definitely crucial. That's keeping things from moving on. But at some point, you have to drop those swords. It can't stay up like that forever. Now, for the heart of your reading, you guys have the ten of wands. See. You guys are ha you guys have a burden on your backs. You guys are doing a lot of stuff in your relationships, in your life. You guys have a lot going on. Now, this doesn't have to be. It's, it usually it isn't. It's, when I see the ten of ten of wands, I go damn. But like I said, with every card here, it's not a bad thing. The only kind of really kind of ugh card that you can have is the ten of swords. Really, you can, there's a couple others, but the ten of swords is the one I can think of at the moment. The Ten of Wands, though, it's not the easiest card to have in the have easiest card to have. Period. But I do feel like you guys have a lot on your plate, more than you can really handle on your own. I mean, you're handling it. You can obviously handle it on your own, but should you? That's a different story. And I, I always look for temperance when I see this, <laughs> and I'm like, mm-hmm. So you guys may be taking on a little too doggone much right now. And I feel like in the t in turn of you guys taking too much, you guys don't feel very supported, very stable. There could be someone around you right now that, as a matter of fact, that's very focused on their career. Focusing on their, on money, focusing on other things, material goods, everything like that. And they haven't been providing you with the stability that you feel like you need. You guys have may have been stepping up to be the provider by taking on way too much, and that could have you know possibly sh you know j you know messed up the dynamic of the relationship because you had to take on too much. Now in the past you had the hermit that's coming up here, and the hermit can indicate that there is there has been some you know some distancing, some time away, some retreating to within the self. But you're trying to find answers within you. Some of you guys, it's, it has a lot to do with um, finding your confidence or healing from old pains, you know, taking care of yourself, but mostly finding the answers that you can only answer within yourself, right? It's like, I do feel like you had to kind of go within to kind of get some sort of clarity of who you are now based off of the things you've already experienced. <clears throat> And that kind of discovery definitely leads to the five of wands in a very interesting way. 
right? I feel like obviously you know who you are now from that hermit energy, but it's about taking action on that. It's different, difficult, and you may have a lot of conflicting ind ind uh, individuals around you or a person, perhaps even. Um, that thinks or expects you to perform the old way when you know that you're not that person that can do the old way. You're the person that has a new way of doing things or moving forward or operating. Some of you guys, it may be your own inner turmoil. You know, you don't want to disappoint anybody. You don't want to make anybody feel as though they can't trust you or you can't be relied on, relied upon. But that's the thing. If you're going through a change right now, no, you can't be relied on because you're dealing with yourself. You focus on yourself. You have to take care of you. And that's okay. And that's, that's you know, it's not putting other people first before yourself. That's when we get into trouble, people. That's where really we would be getting into trouble because we are not in any position to take care of anybody until we take care of ourselves. That's why the Empress is in your external energy like this. She's like, hey, well, I'm pregnant. I can't really pick the baby up right now. That's about seven years old. I can't no longer do that. I can't no longer dress my little girl anymore. She can dress herself. You know, I'm pregnant. I don't think I should be, you know, fucking outside mowing the lawn. You know, she could do that shit, but should she? I don't think so. Because it's, you know, it's not about being pregnant. It's about knowing that you, you knowing what you should and shouldn't be doing. <laughs> You know, what you can and can do. Like, it's not about independence because we all know the Empress can do the, anything she wants to do. But it's not about that. It's about, like, the dynamic of, 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 of our lives, right? We have to make sure that we are taken care of first. The Empress, if she just let anybody, any old body come in because she wanted to take care of them, her place would be a mess right now. You know, just imagine... You know, she didn't want to burden anybody with cleaning or doing some things, right? Like, if she didn't, like, if she didn't maintain herself, if she didn't keep, you know, maintain her composure, you know, think about it. She'd be passing out all over the place. She'd probably get sick easier because she's not paying, she's not paying attention to herself. And I think that's the thing, y'all. I think for a lot of you guys, the two of swords situation is this. You know who you are now. And the thing is, is that, the, the, the conflict that you're fa facing right now is that there's a lot of people that are expecting you to take care of them and you're not doing that no more. You're not. And I feel like you're feeling the pressure of it. You're feeling the pressure of people trying to get you back, to, trying to push you back to being codependent, trying to push you into being something that you, you can't really identify with anymore. That person that's always there to help. And you are willing to help. That's the difference. Like, you are willing to help people. You are willing to, you know, lend a helping hand and be there for people. But you're not willing to do that at your own expense when you can't do it. And I feel like that's not necessarily a people thing. It's more of yourself thing and what you think people expect from you. So, it's... So, yeah, you're carrying a burden that's no longer something that you can resonate with, I feel, because you've, you're changing. You go from ten, you go from the 10 to 5. You're changing what it is that you're willing to carry, what burdens you're willing to carry. What, you know, you went all the way back down to a 5. You're changing what is truly, what truly, you know, you can, you know, truly what you, what you can identify it with. Hopefully that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? You're not that person anymore that's going to sacrifice everything for this for for other people. You're going to save a little piece of something for yourself. And that's good. Right? You got to take care of you. If you are not a powerhouse, if you're not a safe space for yourself, how can you be for someone else? And I think that's the thing. I feel like that's the thing. Because there may be people around you that are close to you. And it's hard to say no to some people. And that's the challenge, right? Saying no. Because that's what the Two of Swords, in my opinion, is coming up as. You know your truth. You know what your answer is going to be the second you see it. But that's why you're closing your eyes. You're just ignoring it. You're like, okay, I'm just going to wait till this happens. I'm just going to wait till this happens. No. There's no better time like the present. The more you procrastinate, the more you wait on it, the more you keep the bounce, the more you stay in the dark, the less and less and less you become... You know, the less and less, less um, you realize, you know, you, you get anything done, you accomplish certain things that you want to do, and the more you become disassociated with the situation in yourself. 
you start to lose yourself. And I and I've done that before. I've I've waited for things like okay, well I'll just you know when it happens again, okay, well it happened again, so I would just no 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 no. You, unfortunately, you may have to just say you know what this is where I stand. I can't do this thing anymore. I can't stay in this situation like this. And you have the devil card coming out in your future, and that to me is overcoming the, a lot of the things that we've you know constructed in our minds. Right, which is a lot of the illusion of we have to do this, we have to do that, or there's certain behaviors that we, you know, that feel comfortable to us because we know that hey, we get, you know, this we know the outcome of doing a certain outcome, uh, of doing a certain action rather. We know the outcome of doing something that we know that you know, we know happens. We being codependent is easy. Being the helping hand and letting the other people walk all over us that's that's easy. But to say, fuck you, I got to take care of myself. And you may not feel that way. You may be like, look, man, look, man, I love you very much. I'm going through a really difficult time right now. I can't really do that. I can't put myself out in the in the cold and let you be, you know, and you get something out of it because I can't, I can't do that, right? I can't let myself go that far. You're building a sense of self-worth here. You're building your, your self-confidence. You can't let people do that to you, right? So I feel like it's easier to go back to this devil energy. And I feel like that's why, right? You're looking at this devil energy like, shit, maybe I should just go back. Maybe I should just go back. And it's like, I feel like cancer, don't do that. Don't, you know, if you, you know, if you feel like you need to go back, go back to it. But that's because there's something else that you need to understand from this dynamic. Because you're not going to leave here until you learn what you need to learn. You need to find your power with this devil energy. But I feel like when you move into this, you will, you will find, find your power. Why will you find your power? Because the devil always reminds, uh, lets us know. It's like, hey, you can leave at any time. That chain is just to let you know you're in here. The chain is a reminder to let you know you're in here. But it's to be aware of also your behaviors. You know, your actions have consequences to them. That chain is a reflection of that. And I feel like you look at that devil and you say, yeah, you're right. And you just like, you know who you are. You know what you are, what you can do and what you won't do and what is and what isn't, right? What's real and what isn't real. The people that will hate you if you don't do certain things. If they hate you, they hate you. Because, hey, at the end of the day, you got to live with you. And that's okay, Right? It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter what the outcome will be for the other person in that dynamic of that relationship. If you are not taking care of yourself, then that's it. For some of you guys, you may be struggling with getting, you know, having children. Bearing children. I don't see that to be a problem too much in the future. Mainly because of the star that's coming up in your outcome here. But I really feel like this is talking about standing, stepping into your own self, being, you know, st taking care of you over taking care of everyone else. Because the conflict here has a lot to do with Empress, the caretaker, but it also has a lot to do with the manifestations as well. Now, King of Pentacles, he's a manifest, he's a manifester too. And I feel like for some of you guys, if it's not having to do with taking care of anybody, it's about what it is that you're trying to manifest. Is it even, you know, are you changing what you want? And if that's the case, you're allowed to. Star is saying that in your outcome, that you know, there is a restart. There's a reset. You know what I mean? But the devil is throwing me because it's like, if this is about manifestation, what happens do you feel like you and that you're afraid of slipping back into? Either way, whatever happens you find you slipping back into, you can overpower them. The devil is always the, the card is always the solution as well as the warning. Okay. All right. You find out, you know, you know, you overcome the, the addictions and the struggles by knowing that you have them in the first place, by being aware you can get lost in the devil because you're, you know, influenced by different things. You're influenced, but it's not that all the things that influence you is you that is what you're looking for in there that influences you. Like if you go in there with "I am not being taken care of," so you do certain things that may not be beneficial for you in the long run, but they help kind of give you that sense of relief in the moment, to, or you know, whatever based on whatever it is that you're looking for. Then yeah. Like for the, for instance, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use um, 
you know, eating, for example, people, you know, eating disorders, right? People go in, people feel empty. So they, you know, they eat, you know, I mean, I used to be that way. So, um, and now I have problems with eating because I'm like, I don't want, you know, I don't feel like I deserve it, but you know, that's me overcoming a lot of my own devil situations, but we have to recognize why we are feeling this devil energy so we can overcome that stuff. So we can separate ourselves from the chain and chain in the, you know, in the reality of things is that whatever we have, whatever the addiction is, is to fill a void, right? Is to fill a void. And for some of us, that thing is, you know, we could be feeling, we could be feeling a void here. We could be attempting to, but that void can't really truly be filled until we find ourselves, until we fill it within ourselves, not look for external means like the devil's suggesting. Because they're not, they're short-term ways, but they're not long-term ones. Now, now your goal and ambition is the Knight of Cups. So for some of you guys, you could be seeing a Pisces or you could be seeing another Cancer or a Scorpio. But I feel like your goal is to, to, to kind of have an idea of what it is that you want. To focus on what you want. Focus on your, your emotions and how you feel. Focus on your dreams. Focus on your relationships. Your ideal lovers. Your ideal lover, rather. If you guys are not in a polygamous relationship. But I feel like this is truly connecting to who you are. Connecting to your emotions. Being aware of how you feel. And how you do that is by putting your emotions on the highest pedestal possible. Making sure that your emotions are being considered as always. The nine ones doesn't do anything but consider his own emotions, which that can get his ass into trouble, because he's not leading the steed. He's not leading this 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 horse in a direction that's safe. He could be walking into something dangerous, but because he's so focused on his what he wants, on what he uh, what he what he feels. But the point of it is, is that I get it. You guys want to you want to feel. You want to not necessarily feel, but you want to f focus on you. You want to focus on your dreams and it's okay if it changes because this is a, this is a night right mutable energy if it changes it changes but it's you have to accept that change if the old wish isn't going to work if the old wish is no longer what you want that's okay it's going to take time to build this though the empress is you know she's she grows wheat you know, she's in a utopia. It's where, it, you know, everything's fertile and green and all that. But the wheat is ready to be harvested. It takes time to grow wheat, by the way. So it's about the process. You know, like, yeah, it's going to be manifestation. You're going to manifest stuff. But I feel there's conflict in regarding whatever you're what trying to manifest. And it's because it's going to take time. And you're maybe changing some things because, you know, you're changing a certain certain goal post at the moment. Eh, and that's not a bad thing. But, hey, it's going to take time to, to manifest. So you may as well make the decision so you can start now. Now, the star is coming up in your outcome. That's another, you got another, manifestation, another manifestation card that comes up. A wish card here. Not really a wish card, but some manifestation because... You know, you give back. It's very similar to the Empress, in my opinion. But you give back. You're putting in something toward your dream, towards your your wish, towards that star. You know. And with the the Knight of Cups and the star coming up, it's like, yes, it, dream. You know, be invested in what it is that you want. But the work will come. And do that work, right? You, you're going to heal through that too. Because I think the conflict is this, right? You know what you, you... I think for this situation is that you know that this is... A, you know, th this situation now is a burden. Or whatever it is that you're dealing with a burden. Could be this person that you're committed to. This relationship that you're in a commitment with. I mean, this person that you're in a commitment with. Um, or this fact... Or the fact of finances, right? You could be dealing with financial issues. And you, you know, it's a burden for you now. And it may be that you have to kind of, you, you know, you're not feeling the approach that you're doing now because it's now, it's, it's a burden because either you have too much on your plate or it's just not really, you know, it's, 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 it's just too much now. It's, 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 it's become work rather than something enjoyable. 
and you may be changing that, but it's going to take time to, you know, to cultivate that change. It's something worth to doing. It's going to take time to. And I feel like, I feel like ultimately, you know, that when you make the decision or you make, you know, you, you know, whatever you settle with, you have to, def you have to face the darkness a little bit. But, but when you face it and you work on it, you're healing it too. You're getting closer. You're, you're doing two things at the same time. You're killing two birds with one stone. You're not only working towards your dream, but you're also healing yourself from the devil energy, from the addictions that you have. From the, from the old patterns that you know that may have felt filled a void at one point old habits that no longer help you that you know overcoming that that sort of um situation overcoming that kind of feeling that you have to do something in order to feel like to feel a certain way time to reflect y'all interesting you have the her her or the hermit in the you have the hermit in the um in the past there so Time to reflect. Very similar to the hermit. Looking at yourself. Looking at who you. Looking at you. You know. Because this is still Venus retrograde. Right? Everything. When things go retrograde. It's about looking inward. Not outward. Inward. And it's not other people's fault. It's usually our. our it's usually what we've got going on internally. That. That we need to face. That's the hardest battle ever. But. We can overcome that. It may be intense now, but we can overcome that and gain power over, you know, over ourselves, obviously. But don't cripple under the fear. Stick to your truth. You know, don't cripple under the, not fear, but don't cripple under the pressure of going backwards. Of going back to an addiction. Don't cripple under that. Overcome it. Time to go. That's what uh, Taurus got, or no? Was it was it Gem no? It was it was Tor no? It was Gemini? It was it no? It was Taurus? Taurus, time to go. It's time to leave something behind. Very time, you know. Very six of swords, like I was showing, like that came up before. Six of swords is definitely coming out, and it's because there are some things that you are leaving behind too. You're growing and you're transitioning, and you're di you're a different person. And it all comes back down to what makes you feel comfortable and safe, right? Because the King of Pentacles and the T Empress, they make a sanctuary. And you may be conflicted about who's in your circle, about what makes you safe, about your utopia, about what you're manifesting, about taking care of yourself, about who's taking care of you and, and the people around you, and then make, make sure that they're taken care of. You want to be that provider and be that safety net, but you have to be that safety net for yourself. And it's okay. It's okay to choose you. And right now, with with time to reflect, you kind of have to choose you, because in order for things to be safe, in order for things to be stable, you have got to be stable yourself. And you can't be stable by ignoring the situation altogether. You got to be, you know, you got to face the facts. You got to hit, you know, you know, you got to use your sword. You got to be truthful. You got to be honest with yourself and the people around you, and then heal from the, you know, the, you know, the outcome. Got to in heal from the the triggers that that may awaken in you. The triggers are gonna come back, y'all, but it's about it's about what we're gonna do about facing them. How we're gonna face them? That's gonna be the biggest thing. Like I said, with well, the five of wands right there, that to me is a trigger. Something happened that's triggering you to to look at that devil energy. The two of swords only leads to the three, which is a trigger. The, the realization of that pain. But we got to deal with it some way and somehow. And that's... It's keeping back from it isn't going to stop. Isn't going to... It's going to keep it at bay forever. But you have everything that you need in you. And you know what? It's okay to feel this, this pain because... That's going to help motivate you even more to get to your dream. Not because, you know, in the spite of the pain, but because, you know, you're a survivor then. Nothing's going to stop you. You know, survivors are dangerous because they know what they're capable of. Because they've been through a lot. 